Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for October 13th to October 19th, 2020. So please note my new display from one of my viewers, Bobby Oliver. That's really awesome that he did this for me. I'm trying to figure out the best lighting. I do love the wood product and I love the shininess on the wood. That is just awesome. So thank you so much. Shout out to the viewer for that. There's no way this can connect with every single Sagittarius. Last week you guys had a lot of uh, views on your video. Thank you for that Sagittarius. Welcome to everyone returning and welcome to those new to my channel. If you're new to my channel I would like to have everybody encourage them to have a moon journal where you keep track of the moons and how they make you feel and a birth chart journal and a dream journal. So when you wake up at night and have a dream you write down how you feel, you go back to sleep, you do it again in the morning when you come home after work or later in the day, you'd be surprised as what that says and it might trigger the dream totally. So the first one we have for you is going to be Earth Wisdom and you have Transformation, Sagittarius. This is beautiful. So this is Amethyst and this is Healing. And this is saying that you might have went through a dark time to where um, just a dark time where you were healing and you were unsettled probably a lot of nights. So then the next one you have is freedom. So somehow you have set yourself free. You have transformed enough that whatever was holding you um, doesn't have a hold on you anymore. This says you still could have problems sleeping, but it's not because of somebody else's energy. So you see the crescent moon in there and then you see the full moon in here. So I see transformation in there too. And then the next one for you is divine light. So this is your soul aligning somehow. This is you going towards a light. This reminds me of Stonehenge, even though the lady who made the cards says nothing about this. I think it was a lady. I don't have the book here. Oh, yeah, I do. It is Barbara Moore, yes. So, yeah, she didn't say anything about Stonehenge in there. But it just makes me think of that. So this is St. John's Wort too. So I do, I'm seeing a lot of sleeping here. These two especially and then this one the plant says sleeping. So I don't know if you're having, you are having issues sleeping. You're, like your sleeping has changed I feel like. Alright, I'm going to do one side you, one side your partner. Sagittarius, if you do not have a partner you can just relate it to a situation or a loved one or a co-worker or something like that. So the first one over here is Princess of Swords. This is somebody spying. A lot of spying going on. This one over here is Nine of Swords. This is grief. Somebody who's really hurting. So Three of Wands is opportunities. So somebody spying but they have lots of opportunities or they see lots of opportunities. So Ten of Swords. So this person over here is really tired, like they want to end something. They're like, they're done with the grief and the hard time, they want to end it. So Queen of Swords is this person communicating. The Queen of Swords can be very um, cold, I feel, is what they say usually. So you could be being very blocked to somebody and very guarded to somebody. So Six of Coins, wow. So this person is struggling, they feel like something has ended, and it seems like they're getting good karma. People feel like they deserve help. So Five of Wands is people gossiping and talking over here. People are, a lot of women talking. So Justice is something balancing out over here. So the grief obviously is going to balance out. The hard times, so yin and yang almost is what I see over there. So this is the fool and this is the precursor to doing something you've either never done before or that most people wouldn't do. Taking a leap of faith. Five of coins. This person over here has six of coins but now they have five of coins. So they feel ghosted after the balance and after they, somebody helps them out. They feel ghosted by somebody. So this is the star card. This could be wish fulfillment or it could be like love, a lifetime of love for somebody. Six of Swords. So many swords over here on this other side, Sagittarius. 
So this is saying this person is moving away from some negative thoughts, negative behavior, something that they are leaving behind in their life. So temperance. Temperance is when the universe steps in and tells us we have to wait for something. Because we didn't, we haven't released something completely, so they won't allow something else to come in, or something of that sort. So then you have judgment, which tells me, if there's people who tried to hurt you, Sagittarius, the universe will make it a boomerang and reflect it right back to these people. And the universe watches over stuff, and they don't like people to hurt people. Yes, we're here to learn lessons, and sometimes we reap karma, but hurting people for no reason just doesn't bring you anything good. So the next one is King of Cups. This is my codependent king. This is the king that has a codependency and wants you to do as he wants you to do, but he can do whatever he wants. So now I'm going to switch to the Tarot Illuminati deck, which represents, Eric C. Dunn says it means a Latin meaning for enlightened, is what Illuminati means to him. So that's what he named this deck after. All right, so the first one we have for you is Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands, and I guess that would go over here, I believe. Is this person feeling defeated, like they had to just defend themselves to no end? It was never going to end. So this is the Lovers. This could be Gemini placement over here. Prince of Swords is somebody coming in to communicate, somebody coming in to spy, so or both. Oops, wrong one. So three of wands is opportunities. You had that over here as well. So you've had that twice where opportunities are coming towards you, Sagittarius. So the Empress is somebody who wears her heart on the sleeve. She's very nurturing, very open. Like you can read her like a book, basically. She doesn't hide anything. So four of pentacles says that you're either blocking somebody or you're hanging on tight to somebody not letting go. Either or. So Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is either wanting to communicate or just wanting to block somebody off. So there's a lot of swords over here, a lot of swords over there. Ugh. So then you have Seven of Cups over here. This person has a lot of opportunities, a lot. So the, the Fool. And you had the Fool over here. So twice this person over here has that they can take a leap of faith and that they will be fine. The universe has your back. Yep, there it is, right there. Twice. Alright, the next one is Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is standing in your own proudness, your own singleness, your own your own kingdom from what you created for yourself, basically. So I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey Lesson cards for the past, present, future. So the past of the situation was self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So this talks about your self-esteem may not have been so good in the past, and you started working on it, and it raised up quite a lot. This says, right now the present situation is friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. And this talks about patterns and healing and understanding friends and friendships. And then the next one is perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And this is true. So you seem to... You didn't make very good friendships because I feel like you doubted yourself and you weren't very persevering in the friendships. And you want to be better at your healing. You have love, so I do see you're trying really hard to gain better friendships of what you want them more to be like. Because I feel like you kind of have the wrong people around you. So the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck is 25, Breakthrough to New Dimensions. A new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovative energy wants to burst forth and your consciousness, into your consciousness. This talks about Migaloo and Migaloo Jr., the uh, white albino male whales in Australia. And when people see them, they consider them good luck. The next one is 43, setting up parameters. 
Use your relationships to demonstrate how they're aligned with your goals. Setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationships. So, wow, you have friendship, self-esteem, setting up parameters, perseverance. You are, feel like, yeah, you need to be more understanding of the dynamics of each friend and their place in your life. Because I feel like something's coming to you and you're going to have friends that you're going to include with the ceremony to celebrate and more just like friends that you'll see later on. And some friends are going to get jealous. Like they all want to be that one best friend. So the first whispers and angel, angel, whispers, angel, uh, angel and ancestors oracle card. Sun, enjoy success and happiness. This is beautiful. Sun, happiness. That's the most happiness positive card in the book deck. And the next one for you is Water Guardian. Connect with your emotions. This talks about being happy and being emotional enough to prosper and feel feelings but not become off balance, if that makes sense. This was a beautiful reading, Sagittarius. Wow, a lot of you, I feel like you're getting enlightened or something. Raising your vibration, that is just awesome. So thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Sagittarius.